The Kalinga tribe music is a reflection of a people's sophisticated expression to relate with nature, with life, and with God. Music is a language, a medium for healing, and just like any other art form, a reflection of the divine. Alexander Madulawan Tumapang was born in Tanudan, Kalinga, from farmer and a lady shaman. He has traveled the world sharing his music and passion to young generations. Tonight, together with Corillieran artists, let us all share the music of the Kalinga people through the God-given instruments of Madulawan and his group in an intimate performance narrating life through the spirit of Kalinga music. Good evening to everybody. I am uh, Alexander Tuapang Madulawan, Narpuaka Tanudan, uh, Nakaran Tanudan Kalinga. The Malikanis in Atai, Pailan Inunie, uh, Nukaratanai Instrumento. I hope you will enjoy tonight's performance. The Ugayam is a melody chanted by an individual to greet visitors in a celebration. The lyrics of this chant is often delivered spontaneously. Although the melody of the Ugayam may vary from the chanter's point of origin, this chant often used as an opening prayer to commence special occasions in the community. The bamboo stamping tube or the tongatong creates a harmony similar to the gongs. This instrument is used for warming a newly built Kalinga native house. Ay, 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 ay.
the Ullalim. There is an epic that tells about a great river where newborn babies who are bathed are believed to acquire immunity from diseases. The waters of this river is believed to speed up a child's growth. The same river also gives immunity for warriors who are off to hunt or for battle. Since the dawn of Kalinga tribal community, stories are passed on to generations through the Ullalim, a traditional way of chanting, which tells about the lives of heroes and their epic undertakings. This Ullalim, in particular, tells about the bathing of Banna by the river Dardagan, an excerpt from the epic of Lagunawa and Banna. Kanang kano di manulalim kana na he kana na yung mga atanga da ayaduli yodura wo na to pa Kai kakote isunu kai yanga unipun kanuya ko na esina lukuba abalayu guna daga na tumoy na kanu amso na. Umoy punat teta yakana na upugu gumi ingasya de amoso kamabor borya ka amoso na kana na kanu yata tuna. Tata, ya na na obo obo, gumi nga siya ay da muso kalogo na ay ang mga sa kanan kanu kasi na in day day ya kana na obo Siya de amoso, kalamo go na ay manigi gakad dadaliwang ang gakana na kanu na kad na kaliman argaw. Na ya ilibili bata dakat dakap pingsan na tomo e dakano ilob roba e mang wakana kanu daulalim. Musical instruments were not only used for entertainment and merrymaking. Many of these instruments are revered because of their special function. The bronze gongs, for example, are strictly played by a group of well-trained men, only if there is a good reason for community celebration. The sound of gongs is believed to summon the spirit of ancestors. In this respect, the young children are trained with a set of patatag or bamboo xylophones first before elders introduce them to the gongs. Patatag.
Young people in the communities have a very unique way of courtship. Young men usually stay in quarters called atag. Young and single ladies also stay in one house, usually kept by an elder widow. Young Kalinga men usually sing a melodic chant to start a sung conversation called iwayat, to call the attention of young girls. The courtship may end up with a variety of ways to swoon each other through exchanges of songs created by different bamboo musical instruments. Iwayat. Ha <laughs> 
One of the most celebrated Kalinga dances is the Topaya. This dance is inspired by the movement of roosters and hens during courtship. The male dancer displays his dancing prowess as he tries to impress his partner. When the girl decides to accept his gesture of affection, she in return extends her hands and accepts a piece of hand-woven fabric called a lap from her dancing partner, ending the dance. The pieces of cloth are then thrown to other members of the circle and start a new set of dance, accompanied by skilled men beating the bronze gongs.
yakani kan sika unna pumi unna marswa bindish yunam katida katamaga naganakda ukulip dikulilipan ukulip dikulilipan The Sagay Up is played when a group of villagers from other communities come to visit a village. The travelers are often received by the host community in good faith. The playing of Sagay Up signifies the traveler's good intention. The ties between two tribes are strengthened through celebrating the peace pact called Pudon, Pudon or Budong in other Kalinga tribes. Sagay Up. To initiate the Kaingin or forest management through controlled forest fire, the Kalinga uses the bamboo buzzer or balingbing to drive away animals such as birds or snakes that may exhibit bad omens along the way. This instrument also keeps the group of farmers entertained while walking along narrow and distant paths towards their mountain farms.
Work is much easier when it is accompanied by chanting. The balogai is sung among men and women at work. Stronger workers try to tease and challenge slow-moving men to keep their pace up. The stronger chanter who has accomplished many things and has experience working outside his own community narrates his experiences before a crowd. Bahalo gay inta ko man yamanan After a hard day's work, there is much to think about. The Kalinga chanter calms down as the sun sets in the skyline of purple mountains. Overlooking the horizon, he sings his innermost aspirations through a very special chant called Dagdag Ai. In this meditation, the chanter transcends his words into spoken declaration of his deepest aspirations and wishes and reminisces his life and his work. Takat na 
อุทยานอดีตมาตัวอาคาณาคานันตัสนาโอยคาณาคานันตัสนาโอยคำว่าเพลงเพลงนี้เป็นเพลงที่เราเรียนว่าเพลงเพลงเพลงเพลงเพลงเพลงเพลงเพลงเพลงเพลงเพลงเพลง Is a chant dedicated only to the privileged old person who has given significant contribution to his community. The song of encouragement creates an energy that inspires the sick to get well. If the old person eventually dies, the chant shall focus on the good deeds and achievement of the departed old person in tribute to his remarkable contribution to the community. ขอลูกโอสเตนโอมนาโอโอโอยเเ
Ladies and gentlemen, the performers of the Kalinga Soul in Music, Eddie Delim, Oliver Gomowang, Jason Barcelo, Roger Federico, O'Neill Kawit, Pauline Carla Rosito, Shane Dawood, Jasni Bandiwan Ferrer. Melanie Balabag, Lisa Dangon Abanag, the musical director and the featured artist for tonight, Alexander Madulawan Tomapang. <laughs> 